Hello folks, remember me? Oh, probably not. But anyway, um, I'm back uh, again. Life gets in the way and uh, whatnot. So anyway, the um, 2023 group build, the NASCAR group build, um, I said I was doing the Eric Jones uh, 2022 Camaro and I'm still going to. So I've laid out a few things to start with is, um, well, the body, um, obviously the body. It's molded in blue. Uh, a lot of the Silvino kits are molded in the base color. And the there are decals that will uh, fill in the rest. So you really don't have to do any painting necessarily uh, if you don't want to. And I'm not going to. Uh, with this uh, with this build, i am uh, got a couple little scuffs, but that's not a big deal. I can always just clean those up a little bit. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it. Um... And you know, I'm I'm gonna trust that the decals cover over any of the uh, major problems. But uh, very simply, yeah, um, because I don't, you know what? I just finished a uh, a Hooters car. All I did was clear coated the body and did the decals around it. So um, that's it. That's that's the Camaro body. If you haven't seen one yet, if you haven't bought a Sabino's Camaro yet. Now, this is a 2022 car. Um, 2023 here. 2022, what they did is they left the bottom grille open. Um, but they also included this little filler piece. Um, the decals were originally designed with that open, that open uh, grille piece. And that little 1B is the filler piece for and there's a slightly different contrasting you know um, screen type of look to it so um i'm just going to glue in the filler piece i'll put on the decals eventually once we get to that and i'm gonna maybe i'll dull coat the filler piece just so there's a bit of a contrast in there uh, anyway that's the black sheet from um from the decals and um very simply it does the side pods it does the window frames uh, all the way around the window frames, grill, and front splash pan and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue in the filler piece very simply. Um, then as you can, oh, it drops in from the outside. And so it just presses right in. I'll glue it in, make sure she stays, and uh, I'll give it a wash. Obviously, I'm going to give it a wash and once I knock the uh, uh, knock the uh, the trees off of it I'm just going to sand those little areas there um, again with the hood uh, you know there's there's a bunch of locating there a lot of uh, pins uh, tree pins so what I'm going to do is you know I'm going to sand around those obvious areas so I wanted to show you that first um, and I wanted to show you something else. And where did I put it? There it is. Okay. Second piece I'm going to show you is, um, and this happens with the earlier of the 2022 releases. Uh, this was one of the first half a dozen, I think, that came out. Um, this is the bottom pan. Uh, it's a flat pan for the bottom of the car. And... Um, well, they're a little warped. Uh, it's a big, long, thin piece of plastic, and you know maybe they get packed a little warm or something or whatnot. So they're warped, and it'll take you know about ten minutes with a hair dryer just to get it flat again, and just to get it in a proper position so that when you're gluing in your assembled cage. And front and rear end that everything's going to fit. So it's very important that you make this as flat as possible. There's a big, you know, there's a big warp in this one, but that's fine because uh, again, with the uh, the the Hooters Camaro that I just finished, I'll show you a picture of it right about here. Same thing, uh, but again, five uh, no ten minutes, you know, that's that's pretty bad. So it happens. Um, so, 
that's uh, what I'm going to start with is uh, is gluing in that filler piece for the front grill, wash the body, and I'm um, going to clear coat it. Um, just so there's something for the decals to stick to. Um, just a little something other than just the, the bare plastic. Um, I'll use a, uh, I generally use the um, Chromax, the Exalta Chromax uh, clear for that. And I'll just make sure it's super clean. And then that way, and if I, again, if I said if there's any problems underneath, then that's where the um, I'm hoping the decals go. So I'm still in this thing. Don't uh, don't panic. I haven't seen Pat in forever. No, well, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's um, that's where I'm starting today, and it's uh, uh, what's today? Sixteenth, I guess, July. I know this thing started in March or something or whenever it did, but I have plenty of time to get it done before the season ends. Uh, it's Molson Indy, or Molson, uh, the Toronto Honda Indy. Molson Beer used to be the sponsor for many, many years, but now it's the Toronto Honda Indy, and that'll be on uh, in about 15 minutes or so. So um, I, I'm going to uh, wash up that body and uh, take the warp out of this uh, chassis, or the uh, flat pan for the, the chassis pan, technically. And then we'll get on to some assembly work. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you later. Okay, so we're on that next step, as I discussed. is uh, I just actually shot Tamiya White Primer. And it's already dry. It's just so this is the base that the uh, roll cage is built on. It's pretty close. I'm not really worried about the, you know, didn't quite make the lines because I wanted to avoid spraying through uh, to get any white paint on the bottom. So anyway, no big deal. That's uh, that's set up and that could be uh, very soon for um, for some more assembly. But I uh, wanted to get to a couple other things that I want to do is uh, firewall. Uh, this would be the front firewall, obviously. That uh, there is a also a silver, uh, like a heat blanket type of material that goes on the engine side. So um, I just shoot this in like a, a light gun metal, and the other side stays white, uh, just slightly off white because that's just chassis stuff or um, just roll cage stuff. So. Anyway, I'm going to pre-paint. Uh, like, there are a few things that need to be painted. Um, obviously, you can't mold this <laughs> in, you know, gunmetal on one side and white on the other. So, and I'm going to spray that uh, in a light gunmetal. And um, this is what would pass for a package tray, I guess, in the back. Uh, goes over top of the uh, the rear suspension and all that kind of stuff. It's two piece. Uh, one piece goes in, and then the next piece goes in. These are semi-gloss black or a flat black, uh, depending on who you talk to. So um, those are going to get painted as well. Um, I'll clean those up, you know, the little uh, little clip cut marks and stuff. So um, those will be uh, painted next. Um, just trying to think of what else I have to paint. Uh, i got to paint a little bit. On the engine, I'll have, let's see, what else? Oh, the wheels. I'll have to paint the wheels. I have to look at my car because I've seen the car. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do a general 2022 uh, focus factor car for the season. Uh, I'll get one, the Southern 500 last year, uh, 2022. And I just want to look at the wheels and see exactly what color they are. Generally, they're like a darker gunmetal or a light gunmetal, um, but I recall them being even close to black, so that could have been the uh, dark gunmetal. Um, anyway, so I'm going to look at my reference photos. So for now, uh, the body, like I said, is soaking. Uh, just going to give that a scrub, and then we'll be ready to uh, uh, let it dry and make sure it's all clean and um, um Clear coat that, and uh, we'll get these pieces painted. So, um, 
that might be all for today. Um, I don't know. I may add more to this later. But um, that's the next uh, pieces being painted or the progress of stuff that's already been painted. So, as I said, after about 10 minutes or so of uh, hair dryer, we're flat. We have a slight little warp, but that'll all pick up uh, when it's glued. So, But it's not as warped as it was. All is good. Now... Uh, this is the base upon which you uh, build your roll cage. Uh, it attaches to the floor pan. Now, underneath, well, somewhere between the cage and this floor pan is um, like a heat-resistant type of uh, material. Um, I just paint it in gray primer. So I, I'm going to just kind of score around there I'll tape it off and uh, the area inside here without this this side you know once I do around the outside that'll just get painted in in a gray just a gray primer and uh, that way at least I know that it's uh, that the heat treated material is sort of there it's uh, very simply um, just one of those things I like to do. So, um, and it kind of brightens up the interior ever so slightly. So it's just, it's not a black floor you're building on. It's, uh, it's a bit of a gray, so it picks up a little bit. So anyway, um, that's what's next. And, uh, the body is in just soaking and, uh, going to give it a scrub in a few minutes. Later, folks.